Example 2. Show that the equation x cubed plus x is equal to 6 has a root between 1 and 2. By using the newton Repson method, with the starting point 1.6, determine an approximation to this root by giving your answer to three significant figures. Let fx is equal to x cubed plus x minus 6. When we substitute x is equal to 1 into the fx, we have 1 cubed plus 1 minus 6. And the answer is equal to negative 4, which is less than 0. So this is the negative sign. When we substitute x is equal to 2 into the fx, so we have 2 cubed plus 2 minus 6. And the answer is equal to 4, which is greater than 0. So this is the positive sign. Since f1 is less than 0 and f2 is greater than 0, so x cubed plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 has a root between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. We have the function fx is equal to x cubed plus x minus 6. So we have f prime x is equal to 3x squared plus 1. And when we substitute into the formula xn plus 1, we have equal to xn minus xn cubed plus xn minus 6 over 3xn squared plus 1. From the question, we are given that x node is equal to 1.6. When we substitute the value of x node into the formula xn plus 1, so the answer for the x1 is equal to 1.6350. We can write the answer for the x1 as 4 or 5 significant figures. Then we substitute the value of x1 1.6350 into the formula and the answer for the x2 is equal to 1.6344. Then we substitute the value of x2 into the formula and the answer for the x3 is equal to 1.6344. When we get the answer for the x are same for the twice, then we can stop the process and write the answer in three significant figures. So the root is 1.63. Example 3. Sketch the graph of y is equal to e to the power of x and y is equal to 2 minus x on the same axis. Get the first approximation, x0, for the equation e to the power of x is equal to 2 minus x where x node is greater than 0 and less than 1. Hence, by using newton Repson method, solve the equation of e to the power of negative x is equal to 1 over 2 minus x, correct to 4 decimal places. First, draw the x-axis and y-axis. Then, draw the graph of y is equal to e to the power of x and the second graph y is equal to 2 minus x. From the graph, we can see that there is one intersection point. Given that x node is between 0 and 1, so the value of x node is equal to 0.4. From the question, e to the power of negative x is equal to 1 over 2 minus x. So we have 1 over e to the power of x is equal to 1 over 2 minus x. So we have e to the power of x is equal to 2 minus x. Let the right side as a 0, 
So we have e to the power of x minus 2 plus x is equal to 0. So we can write fx as the e to the power of x minus 2 plus x. When we differentiate fx, we have f prime x is equal to e to the power of x plus 1. So we have the formula of xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus e to the power of xn minus 2 plus xn over e to the power of xn plus 1. From the graph, the initial value of x node is equal to 0 0.4. Then we substitute the value of x node is equal to 0 0.4 into the formula. And we have the answer for the x1 is equal to 0 0.44341. We can write the answer for the x1 as 5 or 6 decimal places. Then substitute the value of x1 into the formula and the answer for the x2 is equal to 0 0.44285. When we substitute the value of x2 into the formula, we have the answer for the x3 is equal to 0 0.44285. When we get the value for the x, same for the twice, then we can stop the process and we can write the final answer x as 0 0.4429 which is in four decimal places. Example 4. Approximate cube root of 7 by using newton Repson method and initial value of 2. Give your answer in two decimal places. Let x is equal to cube root of 7. When we cube both side, we will get x cube is equal to 7. Bring the number of 7 to the left side to, the, to make sure that the right side is 0. So we have x cube minus 7 is equal to 0. Now we can let fx is equal to x cube minus 7. When we differentiate fx, we will get f prime x is equal to 3x square. And the formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus x cube minus 7 over 3x square. From the question, the initial value is 2. So, when we substitute the x naught into the formula, we will get the answer for the x1 is equal to 1.9167. And when we substitute the value of x1 into the formula, we will get the value of x2 is equal to 1.9129. And when we substitute the value of x2 into the formula, we will get the value of x3 is equal to 1.9129. When we get the answer is same for the twice, then we can write the answer for the x. So the answer x is 1.91. As a conclusion for the Newton Repson method, if x node is an approximation to a root of fx is equal to 0, then a better approximation x1 is given by x1 is equal to x node minus fx node over f prime x node. Repeat this process as required by using the formula xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus fxn over 
f prime x n. Exercise by using Newton Raphson method with initial value 0 0.5, solve 3x plus cos x minus 3 is equal to 0, correct to 4 decimal places. Remember, to use radial mode to evaluate the trigonometric function.